keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about an hash-sitting secondary ball handler lock, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. As liked on the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for the daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. Okay, so, lockdowns, for the most part, do not dribble, right? For the most part, lockdowns kind of just sit corner. But, you also have what you call a hash lockdown. So like people that play Pro-Am or really competitive rec, you sit the hash, you sit there like literally at limitless range, you have a high three ball, and you're considered a secondary ball handler. So that means you have to be able to dribble also, just in case your, lock, uh, your main primary ball handler gets um, in trouble or whatever, right? Now, how does that translate in the park? It translates in the park kind of like, eh, like, you don't really want to have you could have this build along with a small guard in the park but the park is really kind of once again with a bunch of six eights and bigger guards um this build won't have any type of rebound and that type of deal so it's to me it's more so suited for rec and pro-am but if you are going to run this in park you're probably better off using this build as the primary ball handler and then have a lockdown and a popper with you okay so just keep that in mind um again doesn't matter if you left or right-handed i just go left hand i'm left handed rl um shooting guard you want to go six six with this 208 pounds and then drop your wingspan down to six foot eight because you want to make sure you have a 92 three ball yes limitless range has been fixed um i've been i've had i made i made this build and i've been using it and it's definitely been fixed so um everybody can relax on that you can still be able to shoot from limitless with this um with silver limitless and definitely can spark once you get sharp tank all right so now let's go ahead and look at the actual physicals um what we're going to do here with this build again is we're going to go 86 with the speed now the reason why we won't go 86 is that yes i always say lockdown should at least have 86 speed but we also want to get speed booster on go so remember this is a secondary ball handler build so you want to be able to have that um we're gonna go 75 with the acceleration because you can get triple strike on gold also by doing that um then we're gonna go 72 on the strength now we go 72 on the strength because it gives you brick wall and you move on force on bronze um again moving force is just a really good badge man um and then to be able to just briefly hold circle to set a screen if you need to um especially when you're like when you're rapping or someone's rapping you i'm um, in the record pro -am, it just makes sense so you want to get that 72 strength um, the vert we're just going just 60 don't need anything crazy there and then our stamina we're going 96 okay 96 on the stamina for the handles for days fast feet and all that type of deal right so this is the physicals that we're looking at now let's come up here to the finishing so again you want to have the 80 driving layup um some people aren't really big fans of that me i am i love the 80 driving layup because it does give you pro touch on gold i mean hall of fame and it gives you, you know, Russell Westbrook layup package. And we all know how OP, I want to say, yeah, I can say overpowered. Well, I won't say overpowered. I mean, it's like overpowered, but it's powerful enough to where, you know, layups are really good and layup timing is just a must. So we're going that route. Then we're going 55 on the driving dunk um, because you can get um, basically Clay Thompson and CJ McCollum dunk packages. Those are really good. So you're actually able to get away with this, those dunk packages. And then, of course, the big one here is the standing dunk on a 74. We talk about this all the time. It just makes sense to have more standing dunk than driving dunk um, because it's just very, very good this year, right? Um, so you could theoretically, if you wanted to, and I'm gonna show you how, how you can get driving dunk, okay? Um, a 75 driving dunk with a 75 burn, all right? And a 75 standing, like to be able to get like Ben Simmons and Giannis dunk packages, that type of deal, okay? So I'll get, that, get to that in a second three ball we want to go 92 on that three ball um, again like we already spoke about that you are going to be sitting at the hash you're a secondary ball handler you need to be able to shoot to get more spacing in order to have more spacing on the corner you got to sit hash right to give your guard more space to work so again you have to have that 92 three ball and then we're going to go 80 on the free throw to get the free points on silver again this is a pro-am rec type build so you want to make sure you have that okay so again the shooting is going to be good here again you see blinders dead eye on gold catch and shoot on gold corner specialist green machine space crater right you get claymore sitting there cooking up at the hash is waiting for it 
on Hall of Fame. Very big ones here. And of course, another one is open looks. Okay, so you're going to be really, really strong here. Now let's talk about the ball handling. 92 on the ball handle. Secondary ball handling, you want to have a good ball handle. 83 to get that speed booster and hyperdrive. Now again, um, we'll talk about what you can do differently if you want to go lower, but and you also got to go pretty high on your pass accuracy, you know, to go 79. You are a secondary ball handler, so you are sometimes you'll be taking the ball up and you will be at the top of the key, dribbling around screens or whatever. So yes, you do want to have a decent amount of, amount of pass accuracy, pass accuracy, <laughs> pass accuracy. And some individuals are going lower on their pass accuracy. So you could go lower if you want to. You know, there's no right or wrong answer here. It's all about preference and how you play. In my personal opinion, I think this is the best bet. Go as high on pass accuracy as you can, okay? Um, now let's talk about the defensive side. We're gonna go 76, all right? So you see 75 will give you all the bronze badges. 76 will give you 94 feet on bronze. But remember, you're a secondary ball handler. You're not the primary lock. You are a hash sitter, but you will be at the top of the key with the primary lock, right? So you will be the lock up there that is gonna be helping the other lock, okay? Um, but you wanna go ahead and go 91 still because 91 still is gonna give you gold interceptor, gold glove, and gold right stick ripper. Okay, so this is the actual build that I have right now currently that I use as my secondary ball handler when I'm playing in the rec um, and eventually in the Pro-Am as we start to progress with my team getting ready to, to do Pro-Am type stuff this year. So um, there is many ways and many opinions on what would be a good hash hitter. This is what you know my team and what we figure will be the best, but there's other routes that you can go to. Now first, let me show you what the name of this build is and then I can show you what you could do to be able to get the other name okay so um let's go right here you're gonna see it's gonna be called a three-point shot hunter okay three-point shot hunter so if you see a three-point shot hunter don't get it twisted it's most likely going to be a really really good defensive build as far as a high steal rate okay but if this say for instance you do want to have a higher um dribble now what you're going to have to do is drop your ball handle down to an 85 okay and your pass accuracy down to a 75 by doing this this is going to allow you to be able to get your 75 driving dunk all right and then of course you have to go ahead and get your 75 standing dunk that would give you the Giannis and that will give you the Ben Simmons dunk package okay some people want to have that um you know I talked to some other some people and they say yeah I'm a, I like my hats to be able to go back door and be able to catch lobs so you want to be able to get that you see right here you still got to get a 67 vert there's still some things that you have to work around to be able to get it but at the end of the day we see maybe we can go 67 no we still can't get that so keep that in mind but i know that's what some people like to do they want to be able to get that hash sitter to cut back door sometimes but you know there's no right or wrong answer in this like i've been saying since day one there's no right or wrong answer it's all about preference and it's all about what you think will be good for your build and what will be good for your team or whatever or how you just want to play so anywho there you have it, my nephews and nieces. To me, this is a really, really good hash sitter for rec and pro-am and can be a good ball handler in the primary ball handler in the park if you want to use it in the park. Um, and if you want to run two guards like this in the park, you probably can get away with it too, all right? So anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think about the build. What would you do differently? And other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.